Today our main topic of conversation is going to be about gravity. Now we're going to look at this question here. It says, if a 100 kilogram person weighed 400 newtons on the planet Zorg, what is the acceleration due to gravity on Zorg? So what we have here is we have a person. Here's a person. Let's pretend that he's jumping up in the air on the planet Zorg. And we want to know what is the acceleration due to gravity that will pull him back down to Earth. I mean down to Zorg because we're on the planet Zorg. So if you look here, here's an example of me. I know it's a great drawing. Um, on Earth, I'm jumping, and on the Moon, I'm jumping. And you'll notice that on the Moon, I can jump higher than I can jump on the Earth. And that is because gravity is stronger on Earth than it is on the Moon. That's why I drew a much longer line on the Earth side, because the gravity is much stronger over there. The gravity on Earth is 9.8 meters per second. That is, in theory, how fast you are pulled down to the Earth. However, on the Moon, it's one-sixth the gravity of Earth. Earth, and so the gravity is about only 1.63 meters per second. So let's figure out what my mass is on Earth. To figure out my mass on Earth, I have to first figure out my weight. My weight here is 80 kilograms. Remember that F of W, which means weight, which means I weigh 80, so my force of weight is 80, it's going to be equal to the gravity times my mass. So in this case, we put in 80 kilograms for my force of weight, because that is my weight. And we also know that gravity is about 9.8 meters per second. To make the problem a little bit easier to solve, I'm going to make it 10 meters per second just so that we get an even number. Now, if all of these letters are confusing you, you can take out the units to solve the rest of the problem and just make it 80 equals 10m. And this is just an algebra problem. Just pretend it's an x, and you're dividing to get the x or the m by itself. So let's divide by 10. And you can cross out the zeros because they're both zeros. So we're just basically doing 8 divided by 1. So we know that my mass on Earth is 8 newtons because mass is always written in newtons. Now let's look at my mass on the moon. We use the same formula, f of w equals g times m. And in this case, we know that the mass is 8 newtons because we know that mass does not change. I wrote that really badly because I was writing it so quickly because of how important it is. Mass does not change ever, 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 ever. No matter where you go, mass does not change. Okay, so we know that my mass on Earth is 8 newtons, so we know that my mass on the moon is also 8 newtons, and so we can put that in for m because m stands for mass 8 newtons. And we know that the gravity on the moon right here is about 1.63 meters per second squared. And when we multiply those two things together, we get an answer of about 13.04 kilograms. So you can see, if you want to lose weight quickly, all you have to do is go from the Earth to the moon, because you'll weigh one-sixth of what you weigh now. It's the best weight loss plan on the planet. Well, actually, it's not even on the planet. It's on the moon. So here we are now back to the original problem. We have a 100 kilogram person, and he's, he weighs 400 newtons on the planet Zorg. What is the acceleration due to gravity on Zorg? And so again, we plug in the numbers. We have F of W equals M times G. And we know that the force of weight is how heavy you are. So I weigh 100 kilograms on the planet Zorg, so I'm going to put in 100 kilograms for my force of weight, because that is how heavy I weigh. That's, stop, start, because that's how heavy I am. And for mass, we're going to put in 400 newtons because that is the mass. And we are looking for gravity, so we're just going to leave it as g. And again, if you're confused by all the units, you can take the units out and just solve 100 equals 400 g. Divide by 400. You can cancel one zeros. You can also cancel the other zeros. And you, so you basically have g equals 1 over 4. 1 divided by 4, if you do the math, is 0.25. And so the gravity on Zorg is 0.25 meters per second squared. Squared, and that is how you solve for gravity, mass, and weight on any planet in the universe. It'll work anywhere in the world because mass does not change. Mass never changes. Okay, You're always the same mass no matter where you go. The thing that changes is your weight. This always stays the same mass, and the weight is the thing that changes. So as you try and solve these problems today, remember that.